Hello, this is Dr. Sandra Ingram, your relationship life coach. And today I would like to speak to you about how forgiveness impacts your present and future relationships. So this is a touchy subject, I know, but I will tell you, unforgiveness is like drinking poison and expecting someone else to die. It doesn't hurt them. It only hurts and impacts you. And sometimes in our life, these things that happen to us can be astronomical and no one is asking you to forget them, but we have to learn how to put them and get them under control so they don't take over our lives. Because the one thing we don't want to do is give up our power to live and be happy. So what can you do to break this unforgiveness cycle? And you know, it, it has to start in your mind. It has to be a mind reset. You have to know how to reset your mind so you can get it off channel unforgiveness to channel forgiveness. And I will tell you, it is not an easy process, but it is an achievable process. So the words to remember that will take you over until deliverance is up until now. So what does that mean? It means up until this point, I haven't been able to forgive. I haven't been able to get over it, but I'm at a point now where I am able to do it and I can do it and I will do it because I want to do it because I'm no longer going to give another person the power to control how I feel. I'm taking my power back. So now what can you do right now in the next 15 minutes to begin to reset the way you think about what has happened to you, what was said to you, what was done to you so that you can move on. And I'll tell you, we have to recognize what the hidden barriers are to getting in the right mindset. And the first thing is you have to stop feeling like you are fundamentally flawed. You are not flawed because it takes a minute to work through a situation. You are fine. Be fine with yourself. Know that it takes time and know that forgiveness is a process. And, you know, sometimes we have to change that mindset we have about if I do something to make me look big and make them look small, we are not going to worry about outshining other people or taking their spotlight. OK, and so the other thing we have to worry about to, to change this mindset, of we have fear. We're, we're we're scared to overcome. We're scared because uh, we would have succeeded. And people will say something. Oh, she's gotten over that. Oh, she's moving on. Oh, she shouldn't feel like that. But I tell you, it is time to move on. And it's time to get rid of the fear. And I'll tell you, you must. You have to in order to change the way or to begin to change your mindset is the fear of abandonment and disloyalty. Yes, people may leave you. People may not be loyal to you. But you know what? They may be, be the people that need to jump off of your ship right now because they're holding your ship down. They're weighing you down. So these people that have hurt you, and it can go from a a, a crime unto words that speak people spoke to you that you hadn't forgotten that you remember from 10, 15, 20 years and you still had and these hurt these these feelings are still inside of you and they affect the way every time you see them something inside of you comes up. We don't want that. We have to train our minds to be in the present right now and not 
in the past. Now, we're saying that things are going to come up in your unconscious mind, but I tell you what, you don't have to connect to it because we can learn. The other thing we can do to reset that mind is make a conscious decision. That means you have to think about it. When it comes up, you got to say, oh, I'm not going to think about it. Oh, I'm not going to let this overtake me right now. We have to make a conscious decision. And but before we do that, we, 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 we're going to make up our mind first that we are going to live by design and not default. So I'm going to say that again. To change the mind reset, you have to learn to live by design and not default. So what does that mean, Dr. Ingram? Well, it means this. When the situation, before you run into the person, before you see the person, before you react, you're going to say to yourself, when I see them, this is what I'm going to do. This is how I'm going to think. This is how I'm going to feel. Now, I'm not saying that you may do it every time, but you have to st start somewhere to redirecting that mind reset. So what we're going to change at that mind reset by living by design, designing what you're going to say when you see them, designing what you're going to think. Because if you don't have a plan, then if you don't have a plan, you know you play in the field. So we have to have a plan. You will go to your default. You will go to that inside. You'll go to the mad. You go to the angry. You go to the bit. And we don't want to do that. So that's the importance of learning to reset your mind. And it's purposeful. And you can read. How can you do that, Dr. Ingram? I'm telling you, you have to notice what you're noticing. Okay, so the person that offended you, hurt you, what do you notice? What what emotions are connected to that? You have to realize what's going on with you. So notice what you're noticing when you see them. Notice that you're not noticing anything positive. What are the negatives that you're noticing? And then in your life, what are those negatives uh, connected to? You know what? Staying, stay focused, stay focused on retraining the mind and getting there. And you will get there if you just hold out and hold on. Be patient with yourself. Remember, you are who you are and others are who they are. So we're working on you. We're making you better and you're making yourself better. So change your mindset by notice what you're noticing. Okay. And I am attaching, if you would like to have, I have a checklist that I have for you that will help you to uh, get through the, uh, the signs of unforgiveness and things, some things that you can do daily to get through unforgiveness. And remember, it's not a crime. It's just who we are. It's something that we have to work through because we are talking about uh, a communication. And so in to order to learn how to communicate with people better, we have to learn ourselves better. So right now, if you want to get that checklist, to see how to work through forgiveness on a daily bit on a daily basis on a daily basis, excuse me, you can just message me and I will absolutely send you that checklist. So have a great and prosperous day.